Good morning and welcome back to the channel. If you're a regular viewer, you know I usually start my videos off with a bit of fire lighting. A little bit different today. I am going to light a fire first of all, but it's going to be no tools. I'm going to use my modified TBS fire necklace. Now, if you're a regular viewer, you've seen me using it before and I wasn't too happy with the ferro rod on it. It's far too small, far too fiddly. What I've done, I've adapted it. I got rid of the regular paracord and I've put on my DIY fire cord, which in a previous video I made, I showed you how to make it. It's pretty easy, nothing difficult about it. It's just gutted paracord and sizzle through it. There's about six foot on there, which is quite a bit. I've got a magnesium fire starter, a small one, a piece of fat wood, and the original modified striker. I've also wrapped it with bicycle inner tube, rubber tube. I'm going off now to find some nice dry kindling. With this kind of fire lighting though, I'm not going to do it the usual way. Just put some sticks down, feather sticks or whatever, and plonk everything on top. I'm going to actually build the fire and introduce the small flame I'm going to get underneath. I'm going to crack on with that now. Fail. Too fiddly. I got a piece of sizzle here. Save me getting that. Well that just taught me something, the magnesium's a pain in the backside and so is a small bit of fat wood, no good for anything, sizzle is king. So I'll probably take that piece of fat wood now off the necklace, no need for it. The magnesium has got its place, especially if everything's a little bit wet, you know it, it will take a spark real easy. But there we are, at least I know now, you do things in the field different to what you're thinking at home. Time for a cup of tea. Mm -hmm. 